In this Act tutorial, we're going to show you how to work with a variety of different file formats in AccuZip. So the first thing you'd want to do is go ahead and open the software, and the first screen you should see is the Open Create window by default. The first option is called Open a List for the First Time. That's the option you want to choose any time you begin working with a new file from your customer. You can either select this option and click OK, or just simply double click on the icon next to it. The next screen you'll see is Open Setup. The first step is to select an input file. So we'll go ahead and click on the icon. You can browse your computer to locate the file and then just simply double click on it. AccuZip will automatically recognize up to 270 file formats automatically. This particular file is comma separated. It also has a header record as the first record. So the fields listed on the right are the header is the header record. If we flip through the records, we can see the actual data. So because the file is a header record, we just simply check use header. And AccuZip automatically maps it to the correct fields. It's very important that your full name be mapped to our field called first. If you don't map it to our field called first, we will not recognize it as a name that's associated with this address. At this point, since all the fields are mapped, we can just simply click import. The data reads in very quickly and we're ready to begin working with the data. I'm going to go ahead and close this window and open up another file. Under file, I'll choose open list Again, I'll choose Select the Input File, and this time I'm going to open Sample 2. Click OK, and AccuZip automatically recognizes this file as a Microsoft Excel document. And because the Excel document has a header record as its first record, we can just simply check Use Header. Now the nice thing is, is that AccuZip is automatically mapping these fields correctly. If we don't understand the name of the field, we're going to give it the same name as your header record, which is cool because you can have other data other than name and address data. So if you had social security numbers or maybe they want uh, trade show information, you know, information that's not necessarily address information, uh, the software would automatically create that field name for you and then bring the data in. So ours is the only product that will do that. At this point, we're going to go ahead and click import. The data reads in, and we're ready to begin working with our data, CAS certifying, pre-sorting it, removing duplicates. I'm going to go ahead and close this file, and we'll show you a different file. Let's choose Open List again. We'll collect Select an Input File, and we'll choose Sample Number 3. Now Sample Number 3 appears to be a fixed length file. See, AccuZip recognized it as fixed length, 127 characters per record and the first record appears to be a header record. So now we can flip through the records by clicking the Next button, and then to define each field length, we can either enter the values here, or just simply click with our left mouse button, and then right click. Click with our left mouse button at the next insertion point, and then see how it defines the length of the field and the start and stop values within that record. Then we can simply right click at the same insertion point, left click at the insertion point, right click, left click here after state, right click, and left click out here for the zip plus four, and then right click. So now we've defined the fixed length structure. So we don't have to do that again for the file. It's easy enough just to click on the save uh, button here to save this fixed length field definition and we'll just leave it as sample 3. The next time this file comes up, let's say we had it up here again, we can just simply choose the saved import map here, and the file automatically recognizes where we did those insertion points and reads it in. We'll click OK. And now it's simple enough, we just check use header again, and it'll automatically map the fields. Now let's say, in this particular case, we wanted to manually map the fields. So naturally the full name is always going to be mapped to our field called first. 
Now you could map it to other fields that you create, like I created this field called full name by simply clicking on this edit field list. And what I did was, is I inserted this and created it. So for example, I can delete it here, but I can click insert and I can add any field I want, any custom field, and I just created the field called full name and I made it 50 characters. Now, a reason you may want to do that is, is if you want to um, bring the data into your own personal field, and in this case I call it full name, we're not, we're not going to recognize it as the name that's associated with the address uh, for purposes of running it through NCOA. But it stays along with the record so you could later print it either on your label or you could print it, um, you know, some, you know, somewhere else, maybe on a if you're doing variable data printing uh, to a, a word processor or something like that. So the cool thing is, is you can create up to 254 additional fields in AccuZip to maintain your own personal data. So I'm going to go ahead and map these individually by selecting field one, coming over here, and double clicking on the field I want to map it to. We'll do address, double click on address. Place, we're going to map to city, state, and zip. Then I can just simply save that map, and I'll just call it sample 3, replace the existing map, and then import the data. And there we go. It's mapped to first, address, city, state, and now we're ready to CAL certify the file. Okay, let's go ahead and close that one and work with our next one. Open list. Select an input file. We'll start with sample 4, and AccuZip recognizes this as a label format, and it's asking us to define how many fields or how many lines make up one record. In this case, we could scroll through the data and determine that three lines make up one record. We go ahead and move this to three, click OK, and then we go ahead and map these fields. So as you can see, the full name is in here, so we're going to map that to first, address, city, and I'm going to go ahead and save the map click OK, click Yes, and then click Import. We're going to go ahead and close this one and work with our final one, which is under File, we'll choose Open List. I'm going to click Select an Input File, and then I'm going to choose Sample Number 5. Now let's recognize this file as a pipe separated file. Again, with a header record, we'll check Use Header, and AccuZip automatically maps it to our fields. If, for example, AccuZip does not recognize full NM as first, you can simply click on this button here to edit the auto map field list, and then you can navigate to our field in here called first, which is the default field, and AccuZip recognizes all of these fields as the first name. So if these field names appear in the header, it will automatically associate them with first. So as you can see, full NM is listed in here. I'll go ahead and click OK, and you can add to this list just simply by clicking on the New button and then adding in your own personal field name, like First Nam or something like that. You can add any to your, to your heart's content, you can add as many as you want. I'll click OK, I'll click Import, and there's your data. At this point, we can go ahead and validate and pre-sort the list. And that's a quick overview of how you work with data with AccuZip very easily. The use header box is very, very powerful and very efficient.